Dude-Dooders, friends and family from across the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 15th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet, and wow, would you look at these pictures over BC and California. Serious situation here with the fires breaking out. We had another four break out in British Columbia, and what a toxic situation in California. Scary. Thousands of people have lost their homes. Luckily, only a couple of firefighters have lost their lives battling these fires. Thoughts and prayers to everybody in these areas that are affected by the forest fires. And again, if you have respiratory problems, please stay indoors or maybe get a mask if you're going to be outdoors in Alberta, as there has been an air quality statement advisory put out. Now we're going to look around the world, Pacific Disaster Center. We have another tropical storm forming, number 14, and also Tropical Depression Hector is still alive after 14 days. And a new one, and of course those storms in southeastern Australia, which I had documented a couple days ago, they're now coming up on the Pacific Disaster Alert. Fires over Africa. And of course, these weird earthquakes in the south. In the area of the Michael Volcano. And now we're getting alerts too in parts of Argentina. Correcting myself from yesterday, I had said Venezuela. My bad, I meant Argentina. Uh, but yes, around the world, interesting times. We also had a tsunami warning, believe it or not. San Francisco Bay Area, Los Angeles. Why? Well, we had a 4.4 earthquake, believe it or not, today in the Aguanga, California, at a one kilometer depth. So Cascadia Fault Line is moving. I hope we are ready in between California and Alaska. That's all I can say. I mean, I can't even get the list here. I can't even get all the earthquakes recorded over the last 24 hours in Alaska. It's like that hole that was in Hawaii is now in Alaska. And something's about to give. You can see it moving all the way down the west here. With these large earthquakes in Japan and Russia. Stay aware and prepared, folks. Have a plan friends and family from across the world. God bless you all, and I love you all. Thank you so much for subscribing. And I appreciate all the new subscribers. I've noticed I've had quite a few recently, and I am really, really close to 3,000 subscribers, and thank you, friends and family from across the world. I hope I didn't interrupt you. I hope you were still looking at the earthquakes as I was thanking you and blessing you and uh, again I'm, I'm very appreciative and happy with all of my subscribers you guys are awesome don't forget to hit that like button we need to get more likes in there and uh, yeah find 10 friends and get them to subscribe subscribe as well so this was the last 24 hours for earthquakes this is an earthquake and weather update, but I wanted to give you a quick look here from around the world, from NASA Worldview. And you can see the difference, you can see the smoke in a lot of areas from above. Whether it's ash from volcanoes, or if it's smoke from forest fires, it is condensing and it is creating more cloud. Look how dirty the clouds are off the coast here. As I said, this is this could be toxic for our future. We need to stay aware and prepared. These changes are happening quick and they're happening everywhere. And there's proof because I've got subscribers in 170 countries who agree with me and who are following along with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide, posting my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world.
So here we are overlooking Australia. Uh, those fires have kind of calmed down a bit in northwestern Australia. But still, it's beautiful imagery. Thank you, NASA Worldview. And again, thank you for tuning in today. I hope you enjoy these images. And the most interesting features here, of course, are the smoke, BC Mountains, California coast, and of course, uh, the air quality advisories that are being put out throughout Alberta, British Columbia, of course, California. And then an interesting feature here as well, over the Hudson's Bay, because it gets mighty cold at night now. I don't know if anybody's noticed. As soon as that sun goes down, boy, it gets cold. The heat wave doesn't really stick around. In these parts of Alberta, anyway. But yeah, looking at the five-day forecast here with weather um, throughout southeastern United States, still flood warnings and thunderstorm warnings. Uh, there were multiple tornado warnings that went up across the United States today. West Pacific is very active with three, almost four tropical storms churning. Watching this large low pressure come in over Taiwan. That is a dense low pressure system able to come right across land. Now those are, that's a mountainous area. That is a very strong low. And still Nothing happening Atlantic hurricane season. Very quiet. Kind of concerns me. In like a lamb, out like a lion. And luckily the th thunderstorms and rain have calmed down parts of Europe as the devastating events have been happening throughout Europe as well as the bridge collapse in Genoa. And I know yesterday when I made a video about that bridge collapse, because it was an extreme weather event, and that's why I posted it. I accidentally said Geneva. So, my bad. It was Genoa, Italy. But thank you for watching today. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share with all your friends from across the world. Stay young and have fun and get your boarding due. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.